Welcome to part number six of Gran Turismo 5 Ace Back. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we do the Super License and finish off the license exams. So yeah, you have to be level 15 to enter, but I'm level 40 in B Spec, so it doesn't matter. And if IA10 told us anything, we can just ram our way into winning every race. So you know what? I'm gonna fucking ram every car because of all the frustrations of IB1, IC1, that one um, NSX at Tokyo exam. This is the super license where we could just let steam off. I do have to say here, yeah, and before I can't, I wouldn't be surprised. In all seriousness, on a serious note, I do have to say that although overtaking challenges are fun, this is obviously the weakest set of super license exams in the whole series. Why? Because yeah, GT6 was even weaker, but at the same time, Super License is all about one lap, you know, time trials, like hot laps. Really fast laps around these circuits. Really testing all your skill, and overtaking's fun, don't get me wrong, but I prefer laps. I prefer hot laps rather than overtaking challenges Super License. Regardless, let's see if we can just ramp our way into the lead. being serious okay fourth attempt so we can slam into cars just can't go off track i'd be smart about this calls the off the awp does this stand for like advanced like warfare or something i can't Advance like war something. Is this World War II? Sniper near your location. Yeah, I want to have some fun with this. Oh, and he is black and white. Yeah, this is World War II footage, colorized. This is Mussolini right here in the Ferrari. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. God, advanced work. What Italian boy? Make this overtake gun in style. <laughs> there we go. You see, that's how it's done, guys. See, only real professional racing on this channel. Italy versus Japan, and Italy wins. There we go. Friendly fire. And there comes the lads. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save every single replay because there's obviously gonna be a bunch of carnage and we gotta all this, you know, I gotta decide which, um, which accident looks the best. Italy versus Japan, my fan fiction. <laughs> all right, type for S2. Which is gonna be at Trial Mountain for applied overtaking. I think we're in a Maserati Gran Turismo S for this exam, if I remember correctly. Yep, we are. When did we start playing Hearts of Iron? Uh, like 10 minutes ago? Six minutes ago to be exact. That's when the recording started. My god, this... Loading screen. Last corner flip. 
No, because if we do the last corner flip, we're gonna go off track. That's considered an off track, and we're gonna get DQ'd. We're gonna get Dairy Queen if we if we go off track. I don't you know, I didn't get to watch that stream when Jimmy did this super license, so I can't really say Ender. No, 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 because Monza, that's, I don't know, they, they let you go off the rumble strips in this challenge and the Sebastian Vettel stuff, but I don't know, you just really can't do that at Trial Mountain. Alright, well, there weren't really many victims in this race. You don't win. There we go. I <laughs> got gunshots for crashes. Uh, how about this? Why does PD have to make GT5 Super License exams? As easy as taking a piss. And there we go, we get a gold. So yeah, I know I said I'm gonna save every replay, but there weren't really any crashes here, so... Actually... No, there weren't really crashes. Italian Democrats versus fascists during World War II color Christ. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my god, Nurburgring Grand Prix. That's gonna be a clusterfuck at turn one. Ooh, we're driving an SLS AMG as well. You just killed half the field, level up. Yeah, no kidding. That's literally all we're doing. We're just killing everybody. Everybody and everything, and we're still gaining XP. You must dive bomb the British cars. Yeah, hopefully there are some British cars here. That's how you do it. Already up to fourth. Minimum casualties. Only one. See, all that practice on Forza 2 helps me here. Not the LFA! <laughs> Why is it be an LFA? I don't know, because he was just an innocent bystander. Uh, this is the uh, Wreckfest. This is the early access version of Wreckfest back in 2010, when the game was still being developed. But uh, yeah, this is exclusive rare footage of the beta. Or this is the alpha version of Wreckfest, dude. A <laughs> grand demolition. The AMG division would like to hear. See, I like how this is a super license, yet we're just fucking around and crashing everyone we see. The 
of sand to no avail. There we go, we win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We're getting a we're, we're getting a, a racing license by just wrecking everyone. No clean overtakes on this uh, video. Like, can you imagine somebody who, like, in all seriousness, chat? Can you imagine somebody who like looks up a LP for fucking GT5, right? And then they go and see Rhino's video where like he makes nice clean overtakes and stuff. And you look at mines, where I'm just fucking crashing into everyone. Hey, what's up, Hawkins? How are you? Watch how the chicane is banging chicks left and right. Alright, second attempt. Well, hitting the wall gives you penalty. Here. Yeah, 330 P4 is gonna be in a junkyard very soon. I'm doing this to a poor old Ferrari. Fuck. The understeer killed me. Hunts millions of dollars worth of race cars. And yeah, no kidding. Oh look at that, it's the attack zone, guys. See how much you see how much speed we gained by going through the attack zone? See maybe if I press the pedal harder. I could probably win. And I have to beat number one! That's a Ferrari said he wanted his car to be driven hard. I don't think this is what he meant. See, that, that's how you do it, guys. See? That's exactly how you win the super license. Okay, so level 14 is still our level. Uh, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. But anyways, um, that could be worthy of a thumbnail, maybe when like we got loose on the backstretch, but I'm thinking that LFA getting taken out. Ooh, Laguna Seca. I mean, Bart Seca. Why does the Ferrari sound like a rapid burning bonfire? I don't know. I feel like when I can just use my DFGT to turn off TCS. Alright man, take it easy dude. Have a good one. Here we go. Oh, why couldn't we be driving the 300C? That would have been the ultimate red car. Or a Mustang. Oh, his W owners hate him. <laughs> yeah, clearly.
Actually, I think the, the final exam in the entire game is at Lasarth. Hey, get that big ass wang out of here, boy. The diet Mustang, yeah, clearly. Cleanest overtakes, wait, nope. Can I do this in already at, at the course crew, maybe? Nah, I'm too far behind. That's how you do it. I can push my bomb through that way. Yay, we did it. We easily beat this test. Through pure skill, you see guys? It takes pure skill to do that. Only the most serious, most badass sim racers on the planet can do this. Exactly, clean overtakes only. Like, do you guys really think Me Broadman can do this? Nah. Do you guys really think Igor Fraga can do this? Nope. I am the real deal, you see? How old am I? Uh, 13 and a half. Plus 10, minus 1 half. Madrid City Course! Ooh! Yeah, 43 minus 20, that's how old I am. So what car are we gonna use here? Amira? Oh shit. Devil Beach car time. Once the track actually loads up. Okay, fourth attempt. If I want to be dirty, I can't hit any walls. That's my problem. I know, right, UFC? How is it that these cars can take so much damage? I don't even know. And yet, I agree with you, Sean. This could be a hell of an FE track. Hell, instead of that dumbass Paris track that they go to, they should have just went to Opera Paris. Hell, you can have the start finish line and pit lane be at the. Or you can have the pit lane and the finish line be where the start finish is in GT4, but then on the back stretch, you can do the start there. I mean, hell, Formula E goes to tighter tracks anyways, so fuck it. Alright, so... Already in the lead. I love wheel spin. Easy. Yeah, you know easy this is. Only have four more wreck wreck I mean exams to go. No spin? No, I said wheel spin. I said wheel spin. Yeah, I love the smell of burning rubber in the evening, too. I don't think, um, the airport track in Formula E is that bad. Top Gear? I don't think the FE track is that bad in Berlin. I actually like it. I thought the Season 2 track in the streets of Berlin was ass, in my opinion. But, I don't know, I, I like the... I forget what it's called. Tempelhof Airport, I believe? I actually do like that circuit. Now, I wonder if this is like the Top Gear um, special events where if you touch cones, you get DQ'd. I guess we'll find out in... I don't know how many seconds. Oh, you never saw that live? Ah. 
Empelhoff, yep. But yeah, I, I didn't really like the season two um, Berlin Street Track. I thought the Tempelhof layout for season three and four was much better than the original one. All right, fifth attempt. See if we can get this Jaguar to win this Grand Prix. the XFR, which is a standard car in this game for some dumb reason. Even though it's not even a GTPSP model, it's just a standard car because it is. I like how I just... That's easily the biggest wreck I've caused in this whole Super License run, and yet I made no mention of it until now. much closer to the M5 than I was before. Of course, I meet my quota of wrecking the leader somehow, and there we go. That could be the thumbnail. That could be a candidate for the for the thumbnail of the video. It's the face must go yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, three more exams to go for the S license. Yay, we're level 15! After absolutely murdering the field. Alright, next. What track are we at? Suzuka! Ooh. Pretty much, dude. Like, I'm just out to kill every, every single car that I see on track. Just because IB1 was... Oh, dude, IB1 was just so stressful. The 8C Competizione from Audi. Audi. Alfa Romeo. Good lord. See? I have, like, no brain cells left. Alright, third attempt at this challenge. This is not difficult at all. I just keep going off at the spoon curve for no good reason. Because I'm not smart. Thank you, Mr. Audi, for... Giving me the cushion that I needed to stay on track. Oh my god, driving this car right now is just reminding me. We're gonna have to do that damn Grand Tour event. Which, by the way, special events are next after the licensing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drive that fucking car around Azure Nor One short. Okay, sleeping at one comfy, got it. In a bit, Ender. It is what? Fucking one in the morning, two in the morning in Germany right now? It's the future over there. We're still living in February 19th here. Yeah, that's how I feel about the GTR. I don't like it. Oh, he's a feisty one. Put him in the gravel where he belongs. 140, got it. Well, by 2 a.m. your time, I should be done with this uh, super license stuff. And maybe do one special event? Maybe one. Because basically the plan that I have for the LP is this. Licenses first, then spe then all the special events. And then A-Spec. But whatever, you know, A-Spec will be in no particular order. I guess it will be in sort of an order. How did I not fail that? Well, I'm not going to question it. Back off. Get away. Don't endure it. Yeah, but um, in, in A-Spec mode, for A-Spec 
uh, go race events. I think what I'm gonna do is manufacture stuff first, and then move on to uh, random events, depending on what I like to do. I already know all the prize cards for this game, so it's like so one car I'll have to do the turbo race for to use for another championship, blah blah blah. So, you know, I'll just do them in random order. Tons of bronze. Kidding. All right, so two more events to go. I think Le Mans next. Yes. All right, so ooh, we're in an LFA. Nice. Okay, second attempt. I crashed on the straight before the second chicane into the wall. Oh yeah. Animal rights abuse. The second chicane, TMC's in. Oh, yeah, clearly. Jesus Christ, I think... Okay, so I ruined the LFA on the first attempt. It's even worse now. The front looks even more destroyed. Alright, now we're gonna go full send mode. Ooh, the ZZ2! Look at it go! Am I still allowed to walk on the streets? I don't know, that's a good question. <laughs> I like how they all swerve around me. Give me the boost! Ah, shit. Viewer discretion is advised. EG18 GT speaking, yeah. Destroying innocent supercars at Le Mans for absolutely no reason. Whoa. Oh, the, they, they want some payback. So the Gallardo behind me, he wanted a little bit of payback. I think all that messing around might have ruined my chances of catching the Selena 7. But we're probably gonna have to be a little bit serious. Oh, there is ABS. Oh shit, 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 shit. Save it. There we go, save it. Oh, the GTR one. Oh, yeah, yeah. This. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, pretty much. Nope, you're not avoiding going in the grass. Because they have the tow, obviously. That's what's helping them get around me. If we keep that ZZ2 away, I think we'll be okay. That rhymed. Paradigm. Oh shit. Okay. Good. We're good.
Everything's great. Oh, imagine if I got penalized for that and DQ'd. That would suck. So, just being really nice and gentle through the four chicanes, because I don't want to hit any cones. Don't want to get in trouble. My cause. And we're good. Only one more super license exam to go, and we're done with licenses in this game. SSR5 will be the final place for our license exams. But here we go, for the final time, let's start a license exam, even though there's gonna be special events that are pretty much licenses in the game. Max and I didn't get DQ. Good. How's that Bugatti in second? How is he even able to corner around these city streets? Could have been an oof. Okay, good. Well, we're leading, so yeah, I mean, we don't really need to push super hard anymore. Yeah, the Bugatti is a fat pull damper. The Bugatti is too much of a BBW in order to be competitive here. Okay. So that is it, guys. All the licenses in a spec have been complete. All gold, everything. Even though we pretty much cheated for all the super license. Who cares? That's what this game gets for making IV1 so stupidly hard. Uh, this is my revenge. And let's get one more message from fake Tom. Or not Tom, whatever you guys want to call him. Congratulations, you have passed all of the license tests. Keep driving hard and continue to hone your driving skills. Yes, thank you, Tam. All right, so that is the license is complete in this game. Sweet. So for the final time, here's the prizes that we win. It says S2000, 2004, but that's actually the Opera Performance S2000, which is pretty awesome. We get a Mazda MX Crossport because why the fuck not? And for all golds, a PTSD GTR, but the GT Academy version. That is so true, Fernando. That is so true. So, let's go ahead and open up our prizes. Take a look at all of them. All of these beautiful cars that we have won. There it is, the Opera Performance S2000 to 2004. It's a nice little race car. I don't know where we could use this car for in a spec, but I'll but I'll keep it in mind. Here it is. Really sick little race car. Second is the Mazda MX Crossport. 
don't even at me at Muse. Yeah, I, I don't know. The R1 is a really badass S2000 as well, dude. I have no idea which one to take more, to be honest. Here's the MX Crossport, aka the CX5, CX7, CX9, whatever the hell it's called here in the United States. I don't even know. It's an SUV. Yes, I was telling you, Vet, it's way harder than it looks. Oh, that's right, we have to look at the car. So here it is, the Mazda MX Crossport, which I think I know what we'll use this thing for. And finally, the final prize car for the super license for getting all golds. Get a Nissan GTR R35 with GT Academy stickers on them because stickers give you 10 extra horsepower. Kind of an odd prize, I will say, but at the same time, it's cool. At least it's not a freaking M uh, an MX5 GTR Black Mask. Because that was really ugly. This is like, why Why did we even get that for B-Spec? We could have just gotten a regular GTR. So there we go, guys. That is it for the license exams. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we're going to begin doing the special events, starting off with the Gran Turismo Karting Academy. 